Hello, humans. I am Scott Cannon coming to you live on WLTH 1370. I'm from the greatest city in all the world. Gary, Indiana. And this is the counterpoint. Well, folks, we have just entered day 24 of the government shutdown, making this officially the longest shutdown in the history of the country. Now, much of the attention of our corporate establishment media has been on the president and his long-running battle with the Democrats about a border wall, and that's fine to an extent. Donald Trump is being a petulant child about the situation, choosing to hold the government hostage to basically fund a vanity project. The Democrats are missing an opportunity to ask for something equally ambitious from Trump in return because they still seem to believe that the public will turn to them out of anger and disgust of Trump. That didn't work in 2016, and I don't think it will work in 2020 either. But what I am seeing less of are stories about the people whose lives are being manipulated and devastated by this power play between these two entities. For example, did you know that the mass transit system all over the country does not have the funds that it needs to fund maintenance or service repairs to buses and trains? Well, so depending on how the brakes are working on your commute to work, you may either end up really early or really late, like never. Universities are claiming that students are finding it harder to verify their family income status through the IRS so they can't get student loans. Workers at government agencies all over the country are starting to lose their homes, cars, and other possessions as they can't afford to pay them off. Workers have even started filling out online applications for gig jobs on sites like Craigslist, offering a myriad of services from handiwork to, um, uh, services of the more salacious variety, like erotic massages. Secret service agents have also started working without pay, which if you think about it, might be the quickest way to end this shutdown because uh, they guard the president. Get it? They might just let one through, you know? <laughs> Whew. Sadly, Vice President Mike Pence and Donald Trump's cabinet have also seen their pay raise be halted. I mean, they're still getting paid, but you know, not as much as they would be. Right here in Northwest Indiana, we've seen the cleanup taking place at the Calumet New Edition area of East Chicago come to a grinding halt, leaving that area riddled with toxic lead poison. And then the Indiana Dunes National Lake Shore. It's still technically open, but park services and maintenance and other service stations are closed, so I guess you could take your chances and hike through there. Maybe the coyotes and wolves will give you a tour, of course, before eating you and your family. But it's not all bad with the shutdown. Payday lenders, you know those guys who have shops right next to the liquor stores and chicken eating places, are making money hand over fist, fleecing those who are desperate for some quick cash. And the FBI, those poor souls, have been working without pay since January 11th, which is said to be hampering their recruiting process make it get harder for them to find new ways to destroy the black community. Aww. And like I said earlier, it's a golden age for sex workers who are racking up clients who want to blow what little money they have on. <laughs> well, let's just leave that one alone. But all jokes aside, what this shutdown shows us is that when you have a Congress where the average member is a millionaire and a president who may or may not be a billionaire depending on what late night comedian you ask, you're bound to get cynical individuals who are more concerned with their own pride and ego than serving the public. And when that happens, it's obvious who the losers are. The rest of us. Because as the late great George Carlin put it, it's a big club, and you ain't in it. All right, folks. Chop it up with me on Twitter, at The Chemist Lives. The Chemist is spelled with the K as I'm a product of the Gary Community School System, and we could talk about politics, music, sports, you can just tell me how much I suck at this. Or you can listen to me every Monday from 6 to 8 on Issues and Answers with Jonathan Booz. I am Sky Cannon, and that was The Counterpoint on WLTH 1370 AM. God bless the working class, and God bless organized labor. And I'm out, humans. <laughs>